Hey, welcome in. So for today's video, we are going to do a little tutorial on how to set up welcome messages in your stream. Somebody on YouTube asked me if this was possible using stream elements and sadly it is not. There is no widget for it, but you can accomplish this by using StreamerBot with your OBS. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download and install StreamerBot. To do so, all you have to do is go to their website. I will leave a link in the description below, of course. Now, once you get to the website, all you have to do is click the download StreamerBot button and boom, there. And then you're just going to want to install StreamerBot to a folder somewhere that it's safe. Everything you do inside of StreamerBot will save within this folder. It does not save anything to app data. So yeah, don't lose it. Don't delete it. Don't move it or StreamerBot will not work. Okay. Okay. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up a few sources within OBS. Right away, at least you're going to want three sources inside of OBS. One is a browser source that we will use to pull a user profile image so that it will show their Twitch profile image next to the welcome in message. The second is a text GDI source so that we can have their name displayed as they chat. And the third is another text GDI source that's just going to have your welcome message. in it. Now, Down in the left side of OBS, if you haven't changed where your docs are set, you will have your scenes doc and then right next to that your sources doc. We went over this in my other video about basic setup for OBS. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It'll help you through this part. We're just going to add the sources in and set them up. And then uh, I will show my welcome in scene inside of my streaming scene. I'm going to say the word scene way too much in this video. All right. So first source browser, we will name this user profile image. You do not have to set anything else for this. It will change on its own. Okay. Okay. Second text GDI user name. Now you can set your font to whatever you want. Wow. This is going to get real trippy real quick. And then the third text GDI source is going to be Hey there. Welcome in. We're just going to put that you can set it to whatever you want. What did I just that my text do. I have no idea. Hey there. Welcome in. Cool. Good. Now, when you do set your font inside of a text GDI source, you do want your size to be much bigger than ever necessary. That just changes the fidelity or the resolution of the text itself. So it's going to scale based on how many letters are in a name and it will always fit within the bounds. And if the name is shorter, the letters will be bigger and they will become pixelated if you don't have the font size set large enough. I set it to 256. If you want to set it to 256, um, yeah, do that. Okay. Moving on. All right, now we have those set up. What we're going to want to do next is jump into StreamerBot. The first thing we're going to want to do inside of StreamerBot is set up a connection to OBS. So at the top of StreamerBot, you have all of these tabs. You're going to want to go to Stream Apps. And then inside of Stream Apps, it's an OBS doc. And you right click, select Add, and you're going to name it OBS so you know what's connected. Your version number is going to be five. It will have your host IP address right here automatically. And your port number should be whatever you have it set to inside of OBS. Now, if you have never set up a WebSocket inside of OBS, go to your tools, go to OBS WebSocket settings. And all of this is pretty much, you just leave it as is. The only thing you're gonna wanna do is toggle on enable WebSocket server and you're good to go. So now that you have OBS set up to connect all you're going to do is go to your actions tab right click select add name it welcome messages group it wherever you want uh we're going to do zz tests always run and you're going to want to set up your own queue for this i already have one set up but you know i'll i'll show you how to set up a queue all right so at the top of streamer bot yet again there's an action queues tab select queues add a new queue okay and then name it welcome messages you can see i already have mine and then turn blocking on okay you still following i hope so if not just Rewatch the video, pause it when you need to. We're good. 
All right, that's all you need to do in there. You have your queue set up. So inside of welcome messages, you'll set the queue to welcome message and select OK. And inside of your sub actions list, which is on the right side after you select your action that you want to edit, the first thing you're going to want to set is the user information. So what you're going to do is right click, select add sub action, go to Twitch and select get user info for target. Now the user info is going to be user, add that in. So that will tell it to pull the user information from from whoever redeemed this action. So every time the person chats, it will pull their profile image and their name. And this will use that information to set the sources that we already put inside of OBS. Next, you're gonna add another sub action. This one is going to be to ignore yourself from this action so it doesn't welcome you in. For that, you just go to logic, add an if else. I know this is heavy, right? We got this, you're doing great, keep going. Now, the variable is going to be uh, target user equals or contains the value. Uh, we're going to use stream element. Well, no, we're not. We're going to we'll use my name. OK, so your your name. You can set another one of these up. If you use stream elements, um, you're going to want to ignore stream elements as well. So we'll we'll do that one. Also do action. Uh, nothing. No action, okay? Run action immediately and then break. If else, do action continue, okay? So just let this sit here for a second so you can see it. If you need to pause on this to write the information into your own, there you go. All right, hit okay, you've got that in there. And then we could just duplicate this and we're gonna edit this to just say stream elements and then click OK. So now you have it set up so it will ignore you and it will ignore stream elements. And then we're going to add another sub action. This time we're going to go from OBS. And we are going to set text GDI. Then we're going to add another sub action. This time we're going to set our profile image pull. So you go to add sub action OBS and then set browser source URL. Now inside of this, it actually tells you what you want to set it to to pull a profile picture, which is quite nice. So you're just gonna select the scene that you are in, which hopefully will be welcome messages if you're setting this up the way I recommend and having it its own scene. We're gonna nest this scene. I showed you how to do that in the other video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It will lead you to where you need to be in this. So the source is gonna be user profile image. If you are in your scene that we're setting this up for, all of this information will show up by itself. It's perfect, very intuitive. The OBS will be already connected if you set up your WebSocket correctly. The scene will show up as the scene you are in currently inside of OBS. The source will be user profile image and the URL is going to be percent sign target user profile image percent sign wait target user profile image url percent sign the very next thing we are going to set is our obs gdi text source again it automatically will pull up the thing that you want to manipulate the text is going to be target user right here it shows you what the variable is that you want it to be set to now we have it set up to pull the user information for whoever uses the chat we have it set to ignore you and your bot and we have it set to pull their profile picture and their name that's literally everything for adding information. Now we just have to set up our visibility toggles and to make this take less time than it would if I was to do this all right now, I am just going to show you my already built welcome messages because that's it's just easier. All right. So here you can see that I have the add target info. The user contains stream elements. User contains my name and break. And then a delay for 500 milliseconds and the adding the information to the browser sources. You could pretty much just copy this information if you want to. Um, I will show you how to find it inside of Streamerbot real quick. It's all inside of add sub actions OBS. All right, you, you can read what they are in the list. It says it on the left side of each text source right here. So you just want to go into add sub action OBS and find your OBS source visibility state and then add that and you can just keep duplicating it and changing what the source is. So it'll open up this little tab right here and you will again select the scene and then for the source you're going to set it to your user profile image and username. Those are the only two we need to manipulate. I also have a couple in here that are 
for an image. So I have one of my emotes that pops up. My hype emote pops up when people chat. And you can do that if you want. Uh, you will have to add another source inside of OBS, just an image source, or you can add media files if you want it to play a video or whatever you want. Just use the same method, add the source, add the file to the source, and then inside of StreamerBot, add a visibility toggle for it right here. I have these separated by delays so that everything works smoothly. And that is it. I will leave this here for a second so that you can you know, pause the video if you need to and copy everything here. Well, everything that you need. All right, moving on. Back inside of OBS, you will want to toggle off the visibility on all three of them. Hey, what's up? Uh, future me here. I realized while editing this video that I never showed you how to actually set this to work. Feels like that would be kind of important, doesn't it? Yeah, my bad. So what we are going to do right now, really quickly, is show you how to actually set this up so that it works when people chat. Sound good? Good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So sorry. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go into your platforms area on StreamerBot. Right here at the top in StreamerBot, you have all these tabs. Go to platforms. It is on events automatically and general. Go over to first words and set that to your welcome message action that we just set up nine hours ago when I recorded this originally. After that, just set your auto reset cache to something that's outside of your normal realm of streaming. For me, I don't stream longer than eight hours at most, so I have it set to 12, so that after 12 hours, the cache automatically resets itself, and the next stream, it will work again for every user. If you only stream for three hours, you can set it to five. If you only stream for seven, set it to nine, whatever. You get what I'm saying, right? Cool. All right, back to past me. And if it's in its own scene, which it should be, you will be able to nest that inside of your chatting scene and inside of your uh, gameplay scene. So anytime you're in whatever scene, you can even put it in your starting soon scenes, be right back scenes, end scenes, whatever, whatever you pick. All right, so really quick, I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside of my OBS setup so that you can see each source. And I'm gonna show you a couple things that you might wanna do to make it look a little cooler as the message appears. You don't really have to, but you know, it's, it's my preference. So the first thing we are gonna look at is just the uh, welcome messages itself. Now the monitor is only here so that you can see this screen right now. I'm gonna delete it as soon as we're done with this. The profile image is on top username after that, my hype emoji, and then the welcome in message. Now for each one of these, I have a different filter set on to show and hide it. So for the profile image, I have a show filter of fade, and I have a hide filter of fade, both with a duration of 750 milliseconds. So the profile image slowly fades in and then fades out. For the username, I have a transition to show of swipe. It is set to swipe right so that it transitions in and then reverse that for the hide transition. The hide transition swipes in from the left so that it disappears off screen. All right, so that's pretty much it. I think we've covered everything now. We've got... Uh, transitions for each source and we've got everything set up in streamer but everything set up in obs you've seen what it looks like in mine uh how about we take a little uh how about we look at what it looks like when it's actually functioning yeah enjoy this little clip of the welcome message being utilized in my own stream oh nutty is ringing with 149 people what Get out of here. Nah. Yo, thank you for following Wired Orange. What is up? Welcome in, everybody. Nutty said you're awesome. Nutty is awesome. Thank you for following. Monknilius. Hi. 
<laughs> Owen Steel, Joe Muhammad, what's up? How's everybody doing today? Happy Halloween! We just finished a movie. It's too bad you guys didn't come in here for that. Nutty! What's up, buddy? How you feeling today? How you doing? Is this an American broadcast? This is I am in Minnesota, United States. Don't pass out. Nah. At least I slept today. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it. Turn on that notification bell and maybe uh, drop a comment down below if you have any questions or comments on anything at all. Or just leave a clown emoji because clown. If you do have any questions that you want to ask me and have an interaction with me about, you may jump into my Discord and ask any of those questions. I will leave a link in the description below. Or you can come to my Twitch channel. I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Central. I look forward to seeing you. And as always, take care. Stay safe. See you in the next one.